What is up you guys? Midlife Vibes back here at Knott's Berry Farm. Today we're gonna try to see what uh, we can find of Scary Farm because Scary Farm's right around the corner. We're in late uh, middle August, so Scary Farm starts in September, so we're excited to see what's gonna what we can find out there. See what little nuggets we find around yeah. the park, like any visual things that we could report on. Yeah, so first we're gonna have to step back outside the park. I know there's an opening to backstage over there. I want to show you what's there and then we'll come back inside and show you what else we can find here. Right here before we go into the park you guys look at Not Scary Farm. The setup is happening. This is definitely progress from the last time we were here. They did not have this guy right here sitting with the shark. Now this is the uh, into the deep I believe it is maze where you go down into the depths of the ocean caves and it is pretty darn scary, but you see all the pumpkins there and some of the stuff from some of the scare zones right there. Yeah, so it is starting to come together here. And then if you didn't know, here's Ghost Rider right here. You're walking into the parks. And then this building right here is Waxworks. It's behind Ghost Rider. You actually walk underneath Ghost Rider. They open up backstage and you get into Waxworks. Wow, you hear Ghost Rider going by right there. This wasn't one of my favorite mazes uh, a couple years ago, but we'll see if it changes my mind this year. When you come over here to Camp Snoopy area, this is where the pumpkin eater maze is normally at. So we are going to see if we can find, are they already building it? Because it's right around the corner. They had all the pumpkins now. Well, they had the punk, some pumpkins over there, but maybe there's more over here. Oh, you can see they have done a lot for pumpkin eater already. Look at, you can see the building has been uh, raised up over there. You can see there's a monster like right on the other side of those beams. I can't get, of course, the beams are gonna be right in my way. But Pumpkin Eater comes all the way across through this area here. It's a very long, it's a narrow windy maze all the way backstage in Camp Snoopy. And you can see it goes all the way over to there and then you exit over there. But you can see some of the webbing and stuff up there. There's a lot of cool little things there. Definitely. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's definitely my more. One. Yeah, and more stuff. Um, it's like last time we were here, it's been a month, and like none of this was up. And now all of a sudden, there's all sorts. Look at, look at, there's a, probably a cast member entrance right there that you can go in. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I want to walk over there and see if I can see any more pumpkin eater. So, where we were was the exit uh, because I remember you go through the maze, you come back around this way a little bit, and then it ends right there. And then you kind of come back through a little hallway and then you come out that exit, the door where I thought maybe cast members go in, but that is the exit to Pumpkin Eater. So it looks like Pumpkin Eater is already up in full effect. And we're gonna go see what other mazes we can find. Oh, I could already see it. I could already see it popping up. Now it looks like more of a carnival type of theme. Now this used to be Shadowlands, but you can see there's more of a carnival themed over here. So we're gonna have to go check this out a little bit closer. Oh yeah, walking up over here, you can see they got a walkway right here. They are doing some construction. But it looks like there's gonna be some sort of carnival clown type of theming over here. What used to be Shadowlands, there's actually a carnival type of carriage right here. So I'm excited to see what this is. I love it when there's a new maze, something that we've never done before. All right, we have hopped onto the train. Let's see if we get a better look at this new maze that is happening over by Accelerator over in the boardwalk area. That's where you'll actually entrance and you walk through this backstage area. They do not have the train running when they have these mazes going because you're walking back here to get to it. And then here it is coming around the corner. Like I said, it looks like it's a carnival type theme ride. Let's see if we can see anything else going on here. And not much more. There's a little stage right there, so they might be having a little pre-show or something right there. And then it looks like you definitely enter in through there. And maybe even exit, or is that a ramp? It is a on the other side but you can see they've already finished the two buildings and I'm sure they're almost fully decorated on the inside there. Let's see if there's an opening right there. Yep, you got a walkway there and then usually the exit would be over here but it's very possible that you come back to the other side for the exit because oh yeah there's there's a little ramp area there. So what would normally happen is you'd exit right here and then you walk around where this train path is and you would get back on the other side of the Supreme Stream right there is where you would get back into the park. So the entrance for the maze that we just showed you is over here. 
It's right by the entrance to Accelerator and right next to Coaster's uh, Dine-In, Drive-In, whatever it's called. And Diners, yeah, Diners Drive-Ins and Dives. <laughs> and this is where they have the scare zone with all the freaky clowns yeah. that are running around with the cool hair and everything. Scary so clowns. a lot of scary clowns. So if you don't like clowns, you probably shouldn't come to the boardwalk. Uh, actually, if you don't like clowns, you probably should come to the boardwalk because it's, it's fun. fun. And then right when you come out of the boardwalk area, they do have, um, they're going to have a new scare zone called the Roaring Twenties. And I don't know what that's going to entail yet, but I did hear something about maybe a speakeasy over here. Maybe like a secret bar where you have a password and you got to get, that's how you get in and then it'd be like a scary speakeasy. That and then, would be fun. Then you get your cocktails and everything there. <laughs> I think that would be a really good time. If they can pull that off, that would be awesome. I just don't know how they pull it off with the, the amount of people they're gonna have. And over here you would have the entrance to Origins, which was the newest maze that they had this last year. They had, a, it was probably one of, it was my favorite maze that they had, Origins. But you would come around here is where the line would be. And I'm just wondering if they have anything set up for it yet. I'm sure they've already been working on the inside of the building. It's where they have the Santa meet and greet, Snoopy meet and greet over here. And they have like a wine thing, but oh, looks like they painted some of the bars. But whoop, there goes the roller coaster. But right here, inside this building right here is Origins. They'll have somebody standing up there talking to you guys as you guys go through. And then you enter right there and you exit somewhere on the other side. But it's really weird because you think it's all inside of this building, but I remember there were parts that were outside too, where the witch flies over you from rocks to rocks. I don't know, Becky's like, I don't know if I remember that. Well, I can remember the witch flying, but I'm trying, to play, I'm trying to picture where that was actually happening. Yeah, so I believe that would be on the back side over there of the building. Like you kind of exit out of the building and then come back in. Oh yeah, they tarped it off inside. But you can't so see. yeah, you can't see, they got tarps up. So definitely, they are getting ready, but this whole thing area will be the queue line area, and then the entrance is right here. And that was, was a pretty scary maze. It was actually one of my favorite mazes, babe. I saw them. Now you can't see, there's black tarp right there. Wow, they are getting ready, babe. They're getting ready. Oh yeah, they got one of the doors open here, but you can see back here, they got some stuff going on back here for Origins. If I come over here through the fence, you can definitely see it does come outside of the building over here. I remember that part. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait till next month. Then they had infected over here where you'd enter and part of the queuing and setup area was through Mystery Lodge and this is where you'd actually have a laser gun and shoot zombies that were attacking you. But I believe this year that uh, maze is going to be completely gone. So I don't know if they're going to put another maze over here. That'd be kind of cool if they did. I would think they um, would. But it was kind of fun shooting people, but then it seemed a little inconsistent. So yeah. I'm just curious to see what kind of maze they put over here. That is it, you guys, for the update for Scary Farm. I know it's just a little tidbits because they really have everything hidden backstage. Yes, they do. We can't see yeah. anything. I think as we get closer, we'll start to see more of the scare zone props and stuff prop up. So hopefully we'll be back before Scary Farm opens up to give you another update. But it looks like it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. You know, for four mazes backstage over by uh, Ghost Rider, which we really couldn't show you. And then I'm excited for the new maze because, like I said in the video earlier, anything new is something that is great and exciting, yeah. something we haven't experienced. So with that, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll catch you next time.